Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use just a little bit of code to create a cool mobile specific layout for your Squarespace website. We're going to create a layout for a video collection page that will show two videos per row on a mobile device. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site and I'll show you exactly how this works. So here we are in my demo site, and this is the code we're using, and it's pretty simple, but there's one super important part I want to show you because you might think it's not working like I did, okay? So I'm going to copy this code, and we'll scroll down here. I just have all the demo content for these particular videos. If I click on the mobile preview, we'll see them one by one, and what we're going to do is use this code to place two to a row. So I'm going to hop into design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. So I'll scroll down here so we can see what happens because we'll paste this code and we'll take a look and it looks terrible. The images are cut off. There's too much space. There's three to a row. It's not what we want. Select save and hang tight because I'm not sure if this is a bug with the Squarespace preview here or what's going on, but the code did work. What I'm going to do now is hop back to my main menu here. We're going to hit refresh and reload all of the content on the site, including the custom CSS. Okay. And then after it does its job here, there we go. We're going to click on the mobile site preview and scroll down and check it out. We do have the two columns that we created. So again, we pasted this under design custom CSS, and our code here says on any smaller screen, show me two columns, but for some darn reason, here inside custom CSS, it looks like there are three, but I assure you only two will load. It's just an issue with the custom CSS preview here. If you hop out of here, go to any other part of your site, refresh this page, you'll see two to align like we originally designed it to have. Not sure why that problem is there, but I wanted to address it. This is the code that will work, and this is what it will look like on mobile devices. Now, if you do want three columns, change this number to a three. And if you just want it to be one column, then you don't need code. That's what it's designed to do. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. Again, don't be discouraged if what you see when you're working in the CSS panel is not the two columns that you're looking for. For some reason, you need to navigate out of that CSS panel to see this magic happen. Why? I'm genuinely not sure, but that's how it's working at the time of recording this video. So please don't be discouraged if it looks a little funky at first. Hop into a different page and you'll see the look that you're going for. Thank you again for watching, and if you liked this video, be sure to like and comment below and subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.